Claire was born in the town of Assisi in Italy in the year 1193. Her mother was a prayerful woman who often visited people who were sick and needy. Claire's beauty and wealth would have made it easy for her to marry well and live in luxury, but instead she was inspired by the preaching and example of a young man named Francis, who had left his home and fortune to live more like Jesus. Claire, it's wonderful that you want to dedicate your life to God. Francis, you have shown me how I can follow Jesus more closely through a life of prayer and penance. I find perfect joy in living together with my brothers, singing the praises of the Lord and loving all his creatures. But you've given up everything. How can you be so happy? This is the way of perfect joy. To be as poor as Jesus was makes me happy. But Claire's family was not pleased with her decision. In fact, Claire had to secretly leave her home to go to the small monastery next to the church of St. Damien. Several other young women joined her. They wanted to share in a great spiritual adventure. They lived very simply, wearing no shoes and never eating meat. Years later, after Claire's death, the nuns became known as the Poor Clares. Claire, dear sister, I know how you love poverty, but the Lord also wants you to be strong, healthy, and joyful in serving Him. Claire, and all my good sisters, you must not sleep on bare stone floors, and you must eat enough to stay strong and healthy. Thank you, brother. You are saying that the Lord wants our love first, and that even when we make sacrifices for Him, we must be wise. After some time, Claire's younger sister Agnes joined the small group. Our work is also prayer. We are poor as Jesus was and work hard as he did. Prayer is like our food nourishing us. God in his great goodness will give us many graces. We have chosen to live apart in this monastery. But we are united to all people. Christ died for everyone, so we are to pray for everyone. Claire lived at the monastery of St. Damien for over 42 years. For the last 27 years of her life, she was very sick. But this did not stop her from living a holy life. The Christmas before she died, Claire was too ill to get up. Lord, I'm not afraid to die, but I'm sorry that I cannot go to adore you this holy night. Would you leave me alone on the night you were born? When the sisters came back from Mass to take care of Claire, she told them she had been able to see and hear the beautiful Christmas celebration from her bed, although there was no way she could have seen it from her little room. This vision is one of the reasons Pope Pius XII proclaimed Claire the patroness of television.